Hello dear children. Today we are going to begin with our exercise 33 from unit 8 division. Children, in this exercise there are word problems based on division with remainder. So let's start solving the word problems. The first word problem is how many groups of 10 children each can be made from a class of 43 children. How many children will be left over? Children, we have to find out in this sum that how many children will be left over means remainder. We will get the remainder. Okay. So, let's start solving. First, we will write the solution as usual. Let's write the solution. Total number of children in the class. How many? Yes, 43. And number of children in each group. They are 10 in number. Okay. Because we have given in the sum that in a class there are 43 children and in each group there are 10 children. Okay, so what we have to find out? How many children will be left over? How many groups will be formed? And how many children will be left over? So what do we need to do here? Yes, we will divide this total number of children with the number of children in each group. So how many uh, total number of children are there in the class? Yes, 43. So, we will divide this total number of children with the number of children in each group. So, we will divide this 43 by 10. Let's start dividing. See here, 43 divided by 10. Now, children, 10 table is easy. So, let's recite the table of 10. Yes, 10 ones are 10. 10 2 is a 20, 10 3 is a 30, 10 4 is a 40, 10 5 is a 50. See, uh, we have got the number 40 which is less than 43. So, we will subtract this number 40 from 43. At what place do we got? Yes, at the 4th place. So, we will write 4 and we will subtract 10 4 is a 40. So, 43 minus 40, yes, the remainder is a 3. See children, we can say here, on dividing 43 by 10, we got 4 as a quotient and 3 as a remainder. So, whatever quotient we got, that quotient is a number of groups. Means, hence, there are 4 groups of 10 children each can be made and 3 children will be left over. Got it? Now let's move on the next sum. Uh, sum number 3. 96 trees are to be planted if 7 trees planted in each row. How many rows are formed? Okay. And how many plants are left over? Now, first we will write the solution. Now, children, what are the total number of trees given in the sum? Yes, there are 96 trees. Okay, and in uh, each row, how many trees are planted? Yes, they are 7. Means, there are 96 trees in total. And these 96 trees are planted. But, they are planted as there will be seven trees in one row. So, what we have asked to find out for how many rows are formed. 
and how many plants are left over so let's write first total number of trees that are 96 then number of trees in each row that are 7 in number and what we have to find number of rows formed by using these 7 trees in each so what we will do yes we will divide the total number of trees with the number of trees in each means one row so let's start dividing this 96 by 7 yes now let's see the first digit here it is 9 means we can divide this 9 by 7 so we will write the table of 7 7 1 the 7 7 2 the 14 7 3 the 21 7 4 the 28 7 5 the yes 35 now we will look at the table of 7 first uh, the number less than 9 is a 7 and we got it at the very first place. So we will write 1 here as a question, please. And 7 ones are how many? 7. That we will subtract from 9. So 9 minus 7 is a 2. We will bring the next digit down. It is a 26 now. So 26 ones. Now let's check in the table of 7. Exact this number or less than this number is where we will get. So it is 21 because we cannot subtract 28 from 26. So, we will subtract little less than 26 number that we got at the third place in the table of 7. So, we will write 3 as a quotient here and 7 3 is a how many? That is 21. So, 26 minus 21, it is a 5. Okay. So, we can say here on dividing 96 by 7, we got 13 as a quotient and 5 as remainder. So, whatever quotient we got, that are number of rows. Because what we have asked first to find out, number of rows form by using these 96 trees. And in each row, there are 7 trees. So, by using these uh, 96 trees and 7 trees in each, each row we can form 30 13 rows okay and these five plants are left over okay so final statement what we will write hence there are 13 rows of seven trees in each and five plants are left over okay now the next sum sum number five because we are solving all the odd number sums. Okay. So 108 exercise exercise books are divided were divided equally among 10 boys. How many will each get and how many exercise books remain? Total number of books 108. And these books were divided in how many boys? Equally, yes, 10 boys. Among 10 boys, these 108 books are were divided. And what is asked? That uh, how many books each child will get and how many books will remain. So, let's write the solution first. Total number of exercise books are 108. Then number of boys in which these books were divided equally, that are 10. And now we will find out first number of books each child get. So how we will find out it? Yes, we will divide the total number of books by the number of children in which they were equally distributed. Means by 10. So 110 by divided by 10. Let's start dividing 108 divided by 10. 10 ones are 10. We can easily, yes, divide. Now, uh, we'll next, we'll bring the next digit down. That is 8. Can we divide this 8 by 10? No. So, 10 zeros are 0. That will subtract from 8. 8 minus 0. Yes, it is 8. So, what is the question? Yes, it is 10. Means, 10 children got 10 books and 8 books are remain here. So final statement we will write. Hence, each child will get 10 books and 
eight books will remain. Okay. Now the next sum, sum number seven. A pen cost rupees six. A man had rupees one thousand one hundred and fifty-four with him. He bought with which he bought as many pens as he could. How many pens did he buy and how much money is left with him? Okay, now let's write the solution. First, total amount with a man. A man had how many rupees? Yes, it is 1154. Okay, and the cost of a one pen. It is given in the sum. A pen cost means the cost of a one pen is rupees six. So what we have to find out first number of pens a man could buy or can buy in rupees one thousand one hundred and fifty four. So what do we need to do here? Yes, we will divide the total amount with the number of a sorry the cost of a Pain, a pain means one pain. So let's start dividing one thousand one hundred and fifty-four by six. Now look at the here we have arranged the sum one thousand one hundred and fifty-four divided by six. Now we will write the table of six here. Six one is six. Six two is twelve. Six three is eighteen. Six four is twenty-four. Six five is thirty. Six six are thirty six. Six seven are forty two. Six eight are forty eight. Six nine are yes fifty four. Okay, so we will check now. First, look at the first digit. Can we divide this one by six? No. So we will take up the next digit. Now this number is yeah eleven. We can. Divide this eleven by six. So let's check in the table of six. Less than eleven number comes at what place? So here it is at the first place because we cannot subtract twelve from eleven. So we will write six one the six and we'll subtract six from eleven. So eleven minus six five. We'll bring the next digit down. Now this is a number fifty five. Means fifty five ones. Let's check in the table of Six less than fifty-five number is uh, at what place? So here we got the number fifty-four. At ninth place, we got the number fifty-four in table of six. So we will write nine in the quotient place, and the number we got at ninth place that we will subtract from the above number. So fifty-five minus fifty-four, yes, here one. We'll bring the last digit down here. Now this number is a fourteen ones. So let's check again in the table of six less than fourteen number. Yes, it is at the second place. Okay, so we will write two in the quotient place and six two is how many? Yes, that is twelve. So we will subtract twelve from fourteen. Okay, so four minus two, two here. So whatever quotient we got. That is the answer of our first thing that we have asked to find out. So that is number of pens a man can buy. That is, he can buy one hundred and ninety-two pens. And how much money will left over? Yes, and two rupees will left with him. Okay. So final statement we will write: Hence, a man can buy or could buy or bought one hundred and ninety-two pence, and rupees two would be left with him. Understood? Now the next sum, sum number nine. Now I'll read the sum first, then we will solve it. One thousand eight hundred and seventy-eight saplings were bought to be planted in a row of eight saplings each. How many rows are formed 
and how many saplings are left see children how many uh, saplings are given total number of saplings in the sum yes that are 1878 these are the total number of saplings and these saplings are planted in a rows of eight saplings in each means in one row they there are eight saplings so what is asked to us to find out that how many rows are formed this is the first thing and second thing is how many saplings are left let's write the solution now first total number of saplings that are 1878 and number of saplings in each row that are 8 now number of rows that are formed so for this what do we need to do yes we will divide the total number of saplings by the number of saplings in each row one row that are 8 so let's start dividing 1878 divided by 8 we will write the table of 8 first 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 8 threes are 24 8 fours are 32 and 8 fives are 14 till 5 we will write and if we need we will extend it afterwards so let's check now in the sum can we divide this first digit 1 by 8 no so we will take up the next digit now we can divide this 18 easily by 8 but just see in the table that less than 18 number comes at a what place so here we got less than 18 number 16 at the second place so we will write 2 in the quotient place and 8 to the how many got 16 that we will subtract from 18 so this is 18 minus 16 yes it is 2 2 will remain we'll bring the next digit down now this number is 27 ones again check in the table of 8 less than 24 number yes it is at the third place so 8 threes are 24 27 minus 24 yeah it is 3 will remain we'll bring the next digit this is number 38 Okay, thirty-eight ones. Again, check in the table of. Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, in the table of eight, uh, we have to find out the number less than thirty-eight. So let's see in the table of eight, less than thirty-eight number. Yes, it is thirty-two. So at what place we got thirty-two? One, two, three, four, fourth place. So we will write four in the quotient place, and eight for the how many? That is thirty-two. So eight minus two, here six, and three minus three, of course zero. So how many saplings means uh, by using eight saplings in each row? How many number of rows can be formed? Yes. What is the quotient here? That is two hundred and thirty-four. So number of rows that are formed are 234 and how many saplings will left yes that are 6 so final statement let's write hence 234 rows are formed and 6 saplings are left